Yes, people, what is happening? Welcome back to Lily White Lane. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing okay. And today, we're going to be discussing Antonio Conte and why Tottenham Hotspur did turn him down to be the next manager of Spurs. But before we get into all of that good stuff, make sure if you're new here to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, it was only a couple of days ago that it seemed certain that Antonio Conte will be the next manager for Tottenham Hotspur. Obviously, Spurs were pursuing Maurizio Pochettino. That deal did fall through. And look, I was very, very frustrated about that. But then I thought to myself, maybe it's too soon for Pochettino. Maybe you need to look at other candidates like um, Antonio Conte, who was top of my list. And, you know, I know a lot of other Spurs fans also had him top of their list on who they want to become the next Tottenham Hotspur manager. We were pursuing Conte. It looked like the deal was done. You know, we were in advanced talks with him, as I say, you know... Um, He'd flied into London at the time and it seemed, you know, Antonio Conte was going to be the next Tottenham Hotspur coach, as I say, next, you know, in advance talks, Tottenham Hotspur, Daniel Levy and Enoch with um, Conte's representatives and Conte himself has to say. And look, it seemed like a done deal. It seemed like yesterday we were going to get an announcement. Turns out yesterday we didn't get an announcement. We got the complete opposite of an announcement. We did get an announcement, though, that Conte had actually not become the next Tottenham Hotspur manager. We didn't get an announcement about Conte becoming the next Spurs manager. We got the announcement from many, many reliable sources that Tottenham Hotspur had turned down Antonio Conte for a number of reasons. And the main reason being the transfer budget that he wanted to spend and the reason Antonio Conte, you know, wanted that money straight away so Spurs couldn't go on and win success instead of building a project there, obviously, right? How can Daniel Levy and Enoch expect a top manager to come to Tottenham Hotspur when he's not going to give them the backing and openly tell them that he's not going to back them with the players and the money he wants. Seriously, man, every single season, right? The longest time out of any Premier League club in history without a manager right now. What was the point in sacking Jose Mourinho in the first place, six days before before a final, if he didn't have a replacement? It's an absolute mess. Even Alistair Gold, one of the most positive journalists, as I say, he's absolutely brilliant. A real positive journalist sees, you know, the good side about everything. Even he's calling it a mess at Tottenham Hotspur right now, because it is, right? It's an absolute mess. It's an absolute mess. It's a disgrace, right? Antonio Conte. I wanted Pochettino originally. I would have been happy with Conte, though. It makes sense. I say he's a top manager out of all the candidates, apart from Pochettino and, you know, Ten Hag, which obviously that deal fell through. He would be top of my list. But that's not happening now. We're not going to get him, as I say. Because, as I say, Tottenham turned him down. It wasn't even Conte. It was Tottenham Hotspur who turned him down. It's the same situation with Ten Hag. We wanted Ten Hag. The deal looked like it was going to be done, as I say. And uh, we turned him down. We turned him down. Right as the deal looked like it was going to be done. It's absolutely pathetic. Absolutely ridiculous, right? And there's only one positive that comes out of this, and that's that Tottenham Hotspur do have a, net, uh, a new sporting director, as I say. And look, Fabio, he, he he can definitely be a good um a good sporting director, and I do look forward to that. His main priority, he said, was Ten Hag, but I don't think we're going to get him. And it's so frustrating that we can't bring in Conte. So, so frustrating, right? And once again, I say the reason we turn him down is because we're not going to back him with the players and the money he wants, and apparently he doesn't fit Tottenham Hotspur spending, as I say, and fit the way we play football. Something else I heard as well was Daniel Levy was disappointed that Conte didn't want to play all of, all of our youngsters, as I say. It's not your job, Daniel. You know nothing. You know absolutely nothing about what goes on on the field. Yes, you're a good businessman, right? You're a hard business, uh, businessman to deal with, but yes, you're a good business uh, businessman. But don't start getting involved in what happens on the pitch. Don't start making opinions about what manager suits Tottenham Hotspur. Leave that to the sporting director. Beforehand, you should have left that to Steve Hitchin, right? I almost feel sorry for Steve Hitchin because Daniel Levy's basically just said, create a list of managers. Steve Hitchin's created a list of managers. Then Levy's right. Yeah, we may look at that list, but we're going to choose someone else. And also, you lost your job as, um, as director of football as well. So have a good day. Hitching. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's a mess. It's a shambles. There is no identity to this club right now. 
no identity whatsoever. We don't have a manager. We're still waiting. We're far off getting a manager now. Who who are we actually going to start looking at now? Who? Scott Parker? Are we going to start looking at the likes of Scott Parker? Graham Potter? It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Once again, we shoot ourselves in the foot when we can actually get a deal through the door. But we don't want to bring him in because he doesn't suit Tottenham's style. He doesn't suit our style as a saying, look... I'm absolutely fuming. And we want to get away from this Spursy culture, yet we're the ones turning down managers because we can't back them with an extra 20 million. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And honestly, who is in the right frame of mind right now going to want to come to Spurs? Who wants to sacrifice, basically, and probably give up their managerial career? And if they don't, as I say, if they come here and they actually succeed, they will go down as one of the best managers of all time because they've succeeded with an absolutely awful team well not an awful team but an awful squad overall with so much deadwood with awful owners who don't want to back him what manager is going to want to come to spurs as i say we had conte it was looking likely and once again we shoot ourselves in the foot by turning him down absolutely ridiculous i can't seem to understand it i really can't seem to understand it but nevertheless this has been your video guys thank you for watching that is the reason why tottenham hotspur did turn down conte thank you for watching and as always, come on you Spurs!